Uh, now we finish setting up retrofit for the application. Now we can start image upload. So open main activity dot Java. Here we need to declare some variables. First we need some variables for edit text. I name it as image title. Now we need some variables for button. First one is choose button and second one is upload button. And now we need some variables for image view. And name it as img. Now we need some integer variable. Uh, this is for the image request. Specify some value for it. Now we need some image bitmap. Now we need some variables for bitmap. Uh, I name it as bitmap. And now we can initialize these variables. First one image title, it is an array text. Now find it. Image title. Now initialize the choose button. Type cast that one into button. Now find it. Choose BN. Now initialize the second button. Upload BN. Now initialize the image view. Type cast that one into image view. Now find it. Okay, now we initialize all the needed variables. So for this class to handle the button clicks here I am going to implement some interface. Implement on click listener. Implement needed method. You need to override one method on click. Now specify the click listener for the button. So bn choose dot set on click listener. This now for the second button. and upload dot set on click listener into this now we need to handle the button click from the on click method so here I'm going to use a switch case statement to handle the button click get the ID B dot get ID now we need to analyze using cases first case if r dot ID dot choose bn this is the first case now specify the second case upload bn now we need to select an image if the user click the choose button we need to select an image from the gallery so for that here I'm going to create a method. I name the method as select image. So first here create some variables for indent. Specify the type of indent.
Now we'll specify some action on it. Set action. Intent action dot get content. Now we can start an activity. So start activity. Here we have to start an activity for a result. So start activity for a result. Specify the intent. Now the second parameter is the request code. Here we already create an integer variable for that image request. So we can use that one. So img request. So in order to receive the result from the activity, we need to override one more method on activity result. So now we can handle the result. So here first we need to check some condition if uh, request code equal to request code about the request code about the request code is image request and result code equal to result ok now specify one more condition and data not equal to null in that case we can handle the response we can handle the data so specify a URI I name it as path data dot get data. Now we are going to get the bitmap from the URI. So bitmap uh, media store dot images. Uh, media dot get bitmap get content resolver now specify the URI here it is path here you need to add some try catch block now set the bitmap on the image view so img dot set image bitmap Now we need to make the visibility of the image view into visible. Set visibility into visible. Now display the image title. Set visibility into visible. Display the edit text for the image title. So at the same time, we need to hide the upload button. We need to hide the choose button. So bn choose dot set enabled. There is no need to hide it. We can disable it. So set enabled into false. And we can enable the upload button. bn upload dot set enabled into true. So now we can check it. So before going to check it, uh, we, you need to call the this method. Uh, when user click the choose button, we have to call that method. So select image. So now we can check this. Okay, now we can test it. So open an Android virtual device and run the application now. Run it. Now select an image. So select an image from gallery. So once you selected that image, the image available on the image view and from this edit text, you can enter a title for the image view and by using this button, you can upload the image to the server. Now we can perform the image upload. 